It is October 2022 and Christoph and me were just outside of Georgia's capital, Tbilisi. After cycling out of the urban area, we just camped the first night here on this huge lake just a few kilometers north. Our plan is to explore Georgia by bicycle and go up first to Abano Pass, which is considered as one of the most dangerous roads in the world. For those who don't remember Christoph, we cycled last year across Greece and he's an artist and wood sculptor. We grew up in the same village and basically he's my oldest friend. But let's jump into the story. So we are moving more and more away from Tbilisi and the road we have to use here is quite busy. But I think it's only like five kilometer more and then we turn off left towards the mountain. So hopefully it gets less busy. Just at our first stop we made some contact with street dogs. Street dogs will be playing quite a big role in the time in Georgia here. But most of them have been friendly, but more about them later. So we are currently somewhere between Tbilisi and Tel Avi. It's getting dark, so we are looking for a place to actually sleep for tonight. I spotted on a map some nice spot near a river, so maybe it's good, maybe not. Let's see. We just got up from the nice road and we followed some gravel track towards the river. Okay, actually it looks pretty decent here. Here's a bridge and behind the bridge it looks flat and good. Okay, we crossed the bridge and now we are looking for a nice view, maybe just behind this little hill here. Wow, it's a nice view. Ooh, tricky with one hand. <laughs> so we arrived now on this absolute perfect open field spot here. Beautiful view. I'm eating Georgian bread and now we're going to collect some wood to make a little bonfire and to cook on the bonfire because it's mm, more delicious. Maybe it's placebo, maybe it's real. I don't know, but it's more delicious to me and to Christoph. Let's get some firewood. So it's a new morning and we camped here at this beautiful place. I don't actually know what it is, but over there is a military thing. So yeah, some soldiers already passed here, but they didn't mind us here camping. Now we will toast our bread on what is left from our bonfire. And keep then going north towards the Albano Pass. <laughs> We are heading right now up the Gombori Pass. It's eight kilometer more uphill, and then we will be at 1,700, 1,800, I guess. And we've got tailwind, which is nice, and the landscape. Fall in Georgia, it's like beautiful colors here. Wow, it feels like a never ending climb, but actually, I am on top. Whew. Hey, 
So we are now in the city Tel Avi and we are looking for food for tonight and for a spot to camp for later. So first quest, find food. These guys here were yesterday barking at us like crazy. They didn't like us at all. But eventually it turned out they have like a super soft soul. And at the end, they actually stayed around our place and kept kind of protecting us from other dogs. So good morning, we sat here on the river and there's a construction site where they built a street behind us and the material they used to build the street to just get out of the river here. Genius! We've got now a group of dogs following us. Better than a group of dogs chasing you. <laughs> Definitely. So now it gets pretty bad. <laughs> We still got two dogs that don't give up. We have them now following us for like six kilometer and it's 2.5 kilometer to the next village. So we just probably give them some water. <laughs> We are about to leave the last village here before we head into the mountains. So right now we are in Pshaveli. It's gonna be a 40 kilometer uphill. We are right now at about 900 meters of altitude and we go up to almost 3000. It's gonna be long climb. From now on, it's gonna be pretty much all the way gravel, I think. But yeah, wow, it's beautiful here. So it's getting dark soon and we are in the middle of the climb kind of. We just found some source of water here where we filled up the water but we kind of have to push on to find actually some sort of flat spot where we could put our tents. I guess in about 3 km and 500 meter more elevation there will be something but we're not sure but it's getting dark in like 20 minutes so <laughs> perfect conditions. By now we are at about 1,700 meter altitude, 1,000 meter left altitude, 10 kilometer distance and very soon we will be actually above the tree line and I'm hoping to have really nice views from there. So we are now at 2200 meter above sea level and what you can see up there that's the end of the pass that's the top we want to reach today it's about seven kilometer more uphill and 700 meter more elevation
Wow, that was a long day, to be honest. That was really hard. We did 1,800 meters of altitude in this type of road, and sometimes even worse, and bigger rocks and steeper sections. But yep, one last kilometer, and then we are done for today. So let's keep pushing. I think I pretty much made it. Gosh, my legs are burning. I'm very proud of us and especially of Christoph because wow, that's a huge uh, accomplishment what he did. The pure amount of physical effort he put into this to get up here. Wow, respect. So, and that's the end of the first episode about cycling around Georgia. And just to let you know, the music you hear all the time is played by myself. So if you'd like to hear more, please have a look on my Patreon page. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episodes and see you soon.